If you've run out of space for apps on your Virgin Mobile LG Optimus F3, you can root that phone and make a partition on an external drive to make space for more apps. Download the Virgin Mobile LG VM720 driver from the LG website. Once the driver is done downloading, just follow the prompts to install it. Next, we need to download saferoot.zip, so just Google that, find this XDA developer's website, find the link, download it. Um, once it's downloaded, extract it to your desktop. You should be able to see the saferoot files on your desktop now. We can plug in our phone, make sure you choose MediaSync MTP when prompted, ignore the autoplay, um, and then let's go to settings developer options and enable USB debugging. We need to enable USB debugging in order for the route to work. With the phone connected, click the install.bat file, type Y, hit enter. This begins the routing process. Now don't be alarmed if your route doesn't go this quick. I've sped up the video here, uh, but eventually this process will reboot your phone. Let the phone reboot, but pay attention to the prompts in that routing window. Uh, the real proof that we've had a successful route is that when we get into the phone, you can see the SuperSue app. It may be on your desktop. You may have to mine through your application list to find it. But you'll notice the root prompt tells us to allow SuperSue to update. In my case, it doesn't need updating. But you also need to grant it permission um, when it prompts you, which you see here. SuperSue will spin through its permissioning process and if everything's successful you should get a all finished message in the routing window and your phone is successfully rooted. Next go to the Google Play Store and download the Aparted app. We're going to use this to partition our external SD drive to make room for more apps but before we do that partition we need to go to settings and unmount the SD card. We cannot make the partition without first unmounting and in my case erasing uh, the SD card. Now we can go into the Aparted app. The first thing we need to do is go to the Tools menu and get rid of any existing partitions. In my case I have two. You'll probably only have one. But check the partition. Select Delete and Apply to get rid of the partition. Here again, select the partition, Delete and Apply. Once all partitions are gone, you should have four equal size partitions. Go to the Create menu and hit the green plus to make the first partition. This will be the FAT32 partition that we use to store music, pictures. Use that slider to choose how much space on your SD card you want to allocate to that partition. Click the green plus again, but this time choose EXT4 for the partition type. This is what we will use for storing our additional apps. Click the bottom right hand corner, Apply, and OK. Let Aparted run through the partition process. I'm speeding up the video here, so it's going to go way quicker than what you'll experience. You should wind up with this screen proving that you've made your two partitions. We need to download one more app, so go back to the Play Store and download Link to SD. Install and open Link to SD, and as soon as you're prompted to identify the file system of your second partition, choose EXT4. Link to SD will likely ask you to reboot at that point. Go ahead and do that. <coughs> Once the phone boots back up and remounts the hard drive, we'll go back into Link to SD. Uh, this time it should find all the partitions. Scroll through the list of applications. Find yourself a nice juicy piece of bloatware. Um, in this case, I'm going to Chrome. That's a 110 megabyte app. Click Create Link. I always make sure this Link Library Files box is checked. Click OK. It'll go through the Creating Link process. This takes longer for bigger apps like Chrome. Um, I'll show you again with a smaller app. This time I scroll down and find Google Play Books. This is only 13 megs. Create Link. In this case, you don't have library files, but it goes super quick. Here's an example. Google Play Movies where you do have to click that link library files box. To see how much space you have on your new partition, go to the storage info button. Uh, the first two items, internal and SD card, they're just mirror images of the internal 1.24 gigs. 
Then you have an external SD, that's your storage, the FAT32 partition, and finally the SD card second partition is your new app partition, in my case 3.8 gigs.